What is up everybody? It's Joe from JLW Games coming at you with another cool video. We're back in Planet Coaster and Wind Valley Park, our challenge park. And today you may have noticed right off the bat, maybe you did, maybe you didn't, that I did do a little bit of off-screen work. Um uh just a little bit here. So I've been working a little bit on this road, um, some curbs and uh, a little bit of parking here. Um so like I said, if I do anything off screen, I would show you guys right away, and this is just kind of some tedious stuff, so I didn't really want to wor worry about recording it. I'm probably going to progress this off screen a little bit, and I'm actually thinking about doing a bit of a parking lot for the park out here, um, but I'll probably just do the parking lot off screen. I keep the game paused the entire time, so there's no actual progression. Uh, it's just one of those TDs things that I don't think I really need to show, um, unless you guys really, really want to see... Um, parking lot footage, which, trust me, it's not very entertaining. Anyways, today, we're gonna be playing through Year 8, which we just opened up Tornado in our last episode. So, Tornado's good to go and ready to go. Now, um, just so you guys know, I'm gonna be out of town for the next few week, a couple weeks, so I'm gonna be bringing my laptop with me, which can run Planet Coaster, and I might actually record a couple of episodes while I'm on the road. Um, so you might see a difference in quality just slightly. My, uh, my laptop, uh, does, still has a GT or RTX 3060 in it, and it does have a Ryzen 9 processor as well, so it's still, it can handle Planet Coaster. Um, I'm not sure how well it will handle, um, recording. I'll test all that out, uh, eventually and see if I can record some episodes. The only thing is, instead of 1440p, those will be in 1080p, so it will be a slight um, graphical difference, maybe, uh, because my monitor or my laptop display is only 1080p and not uh, 1440 like I have with my desktop. So um, just keep that in mind, and I'm sure no one will really hardly notice that difference, but uh, in the coming episodes. So if you see a few episodes in these next couple of weeks, um, just uh, just so you know, I'm going to be rec probably recording from my laptop. Um, we'll see how that goes, though. Um, so, uh, anyways, going into it, we need to figure out what we're going to do for year 9. So, obviously, the park is in full-on expansion mode. Uh, it has, like, this huge plan on connecting the roads together. So, today, we have kind of the decision. Do we want to work on the entrance area, or do we want to add on to the... Um, the uh, Storm Valley area, which only currently has one ride. But I want to create a path that goes here, and we'll we'll have our own little entrance thing, I think, going from there. So this will connect over here quite nicely. So I know oh, uh, what you're thinking, probably. Oh, Joe, another, another pathing episode. This one's going to have a, a, a twist on it, so don't worry. Well, there's going to be a little bit more to it, okay? So now we need to do this path, because about halfway through this, we're going to end up in this area. So I'm going to do a basic path, um, and we're going to add on to it to make it look nicer, of course. Just a, a singular path that's going to connect the loop around. Now we're not done with this yet. We got to we got to make this um path pop. We need some we need some umph to it. We need some plazas. We need to widen the path. We got to do all this stuff. Everything's got to look le legitimately nice, okay? I got to make this look like a plus professional, okay? And then that's going to go there, and then we're going to have another path that's going to round up around here. And I'm thinking about doing a cool little centerpiece or something right there. Something that's just going to be nice. Alright, and now we're going to go into a little bit of some path smoothing. Just get those paths looking spicy. Alright, so you can see right there... And this is going to lead us to have extra room right here. So let's go ahead and head into our rides. I think we're going to go ahead and add a ride along with this expansion. So we're going to go ahead and add a ride. But which ride are we going to do? Actually, remember, i got to go in here. And we actually have some rides that are ready to go. I, I don't know. I'm feeling earthquake. Something with an 
earthquake theme. But what would be good a good ride to uh to to have that uh that name? That's the thing. We do have the cube, which is a very futuristic stylistic ride. Um, but I don't know if a park like this would have just yet. Um, the elixir machine could be a good one. Earth, quake, rumble. I have to. I have to do a really awesome, uh, awesome name for this one. Just had to. That's all we needed to do. That's it. All right. So first off, we need to come up with a fence for this. So we could put like the ride sign right above here too. That'd be kind of cool. Earthquake rumble. <coughs> Can't decide what color it is. 
It's always really weird when it does that. It hasn't done it at all up until this point. We got black. And let's just go to our normal signs for rum the rumble. Okay, so we need advertising destination. For that. Yeah, that's right. We have theming in this park. Now, I don't know if I have a, a mechanic that's actually assigned to this. Let's actually go to our roster. After we see what we got here. Hop the gaps. Athos 3. Which could be actually a good ride for this area. And Streetbox Coffee. Let's finally do tra Cold Transporter. Get it out of the way. I know what it is. Um, Carousel into the Sky. And Information Kiosk. I already did that one. And uh, this will be... I'll have its own work roster for this one eventually. Um, but for now, we're just going to do this one. Um, since there's not... A, just, you know, two rides isn't going to make a big deal. So once we... Um, add on to it we'll do we'll do more we'll definitely do more it'll make sense it will make sense in the end the same thing over here with our curbs um so another another uh, kind of poopy s section where we're gonna have to take some time to do this so sit back and relax because here we go Okay, so I think we have that. Now let's go ahead and change some of this to grass. Grass in there. I want to put some sort of centerpiece in the middle here of some sorts. But I gotta say thank you to all, everyone that's been watching the videos subscribing and liking and everything commenting and interacting with the channel um we've had 
one of the best months on the channel in a long time so I, I do really do appreciate you guys being here and supporting me and the channel and just enjoying the content you know um, you guys seem to like the series quite a bit so um, I'm trying to get these episodes out to you because I enjoy it uh, a lot too um, you know it takes a lot of effort with the editing and stuff because this takes a lot more editing than a lot of my perks I mean I could just throw in and make it a uh, uh, a complete um, you know I could make it a fully full-on um, time-lapse but um, I don't know I like having the style of having a few time lapses in between of some with some commentary you know um, and I could could have done that but you know who knows maybe it will come to that eventually I would like what do you guys think in the comments would you like to just see one long uncut um, time lapse when I build stuff or you know with maybe like just some open stuff at the beginning and then at the end and then I'll just do some like post commentary um, I could do that um, it would make it a lot easier to edit that would be sh for sure and I could probably pump out episodes even quicker if I did it if I did it that way or do you guys like the style that I've kind of got right now where I um, you know start and stop from time lapses a little bit you know um, yeah, I'd like to hear from you guys. Hey, it's my birthday, in the, or it was my birthday a second ago in the game, August 22nd. But, um, yeah, just, I would love to hear what you guys think. Like, do you like the current style where I just kind of stop in between? Or would you l prefer to see, like, one big time lapse with some commentary over it, you know? Kind of like my normal, uh, my normal videos I would do, you know? So I've been having an idea where I th I'm thinking I might start live streaming these episodes where I basically what I would do is I would live stream it on Twitch and then edit the video afterwards. So I'm also recording at the same time and edit it afterwards and post it on YouTube as the edited version on YouTube. Um, I think you guys would enjoy I think you guys would enjoy that to be able to watch me build this stuff live as I do it and then of course I can get some opinion on stuff while I'm building it which could help with the park overall you know that would be very very nice I wish a lamp like this would cost $15 in real life I would have a ton of them because they look so nice but I think I might do like a cool I don't know if I want to do like a fountain or something something that just kind of welcomes you into the park that makes sense I think it would be kind of neat to have a cool entrance area that kind of welcomes you to the park so we're in September now so I do need to start picking up the pace on getting this finished which I think it's turned out pretty nice so far um, like I said we have a lot of empty path that we are able to use and I'm excited about that because um, we can add buildings more attractions and all that fun stuff um, as we go along and we're gonna get a lot of that going soon so let's go ahead and get this figured out
All right. I'm going to go ahead and push play. And we're going to start placing down some foliage. Let's go ahead and go into some planters. And we want... What trees should we use? We can go poplar or we can do um, something a little bit a little small, shorter. That is what I want, wanted to go with there. All right. And we'll go into some structures here. This is going to be your photo op area for the park. Little photo op area. So let's go and we're going to put our letters in. Val E. There it is. Didn't forget it this time. You thought I would. I know you were thinking it. All right, let's, uh, let's actually make all this a scenery group so we can move these together easily. I'm thinking about taking all these and we're going to duplicate them. And these ones, give it a nice light blue color. I like to do this a lot and kind of make it look like a little bit of an outline there kind of gives the gives a color and let's make the scaffolding white or maybe at least a little bit lighter because black's just a little bit too too much there and now it's time to fill everything in basically and you know what that means you know how I like to fill in empty areas. You know the best way. Trees, trees, and more trees. Oh, I also need to add the fountains and the water, too. You guys have your favorite trees in Planet Coaster? I know I do. I have a couple of uh, favorites in there that I, that I have to use. Looks a lot foresty now, but once we start adding more buildings and attractions, um, it'll start clearing. It'll probably open it up a little bit, the skylines and stuff like that. But now we have what's going to be a cool little entrance area, and I want to put, we're going to make this planter area extra special, because we don't want to block the view of the entrance uh, of the uh the name there and stuff we don't want to block that up so we're not gonna put any like trees we're just gonna keep it with like some flowers and and such like that in the realm of that stuff all right it's october 24th keeping an eye on that um on that date to make sure we're um not going too far all right so now i need well, we still have just a few more days, and I'm trying to save some time because I need to go to my water effects here. And uh, I need to be unpaused to see what each each of these do. Maybe at most, do s I think the water spouts will look pretty neat. This is the, the large one. That will be cool. All right, so now that we got that out of the way and we don't have much time left, let's do a little bit of lighting. Mainly wanted to do some decent lighting there. Hey, what are you guys doing in here? Why are there people walking through here? Does that make sense? They shouldn't even be able to walk through here. Darn people. Have no respect for construction. They just walk through the, the fence. Oh, we're in an autosave. Gosh dang it. Come on, I want to finish up. We're almost done here. All right, so just a little bit of lighting throughout the park here, right through these paths here. Just a little extra lighting. And a few more, like, park benches and stuff. And a park bin here and there. Some trash bins. Oh. You know, path essentials, that sort of thing. All right, it's the 29th, and uh, with this time, we can go ahead and start taking down some of these walls. Every time I think I'm done with curbs, it says, ha, no. There we go. Ready to open up. Let's just uh, let's 
because it's bugging me real quick. Just add like a few bushes here or something, because there's just there's nothing there. Just the wall was there. There we go. Alright, have this ready to open. Alright, are you guys ready? Are you ready to rumble on um earthquake rumble? I know I am. Alright, and now it's open. Now, I never actually set the prices of these rides at all, so we're going to go $8 here. Hey, Gulpy. Gulpy's checking out the new area. Look at that. Oh, we also need to adjust these curves and get rid of the ones that are no longer needed. And there we have it. The new area. The new section is now open. It's not really a new section, it's just a new path with a new ride is now open. Earthquake Rumble is now open in the park. So let's see, we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine total rides um, in the park now. And now it just feels so much more complete now that we have a full loop right here that just kind of circles around Thunder Jolt, which is awesome. And now you can just see the patches of green here is just all the opportunities we have to expand and build upon what we have. So the goal here is not to really build out anywhere else like all this area we have over here. We're not going to build out that way. We're just going to build around this loop. So this is kind of what my thoughts are. We'll establish everything around here. We'll, we'll fill in all the empty sections and areas. And then we'll expand it out over here eventually. And then the loop can come over here. And then this will be kind of like the middle section, if that makes sense. That's kind of like the idea. So Wind Valley Park, looking pretty fancy. Everyone's getting a nice, some nice pictures with the, uh, the little fountains, which is cool. I like how the fountains turned out. They look pretty nice. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode because we... Got to open another new ride in the Storm section and Storm Valley, so that's pretty that's pretty cool too. So not only did we just connect all the path over here, we also opened a new ride in the process, and we have more new rides coming down the line. But again, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Um, do you guys would you rather see the building process completely? Uh, just a uh, time lapse or do you want me to keep the style I have it right now where um, I uh, just have some uh, some real-time sections and time-lapse sections at the same time um, I would love to hear what you guys thoughts are on that um, you know on how the editing process goes so thank you guys so much for watching make sure you comment like and subscribe for more amazing content like this and I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video thank you guys so much have a great day, Nicole Mara, and thanks and goodbye.